Hi guys, it's Danelle. Um, I wanted to share with you today a mini album I made using the Little Darlings um, by Graphic 45. And um, I really, really like this paper pad. It's really pretty. It's very vintage. And I knew I had to make a album out of it. So um, this is the album I came up with. Oops. Here it is. <clears throat> And um, this is the cover, so what I did here was I cut up the little darling um, ribbon thing that was on, because there's like two pages of each um, design, so I just cut this up and then I, I mounted it on there, and then I also cut up the these two kids, these two babies, just to sort of um, pop them up, and I put them on top of, I don't know if you guys can see that. I put them on top of, of the one-dimensional one, like that, so they, they come off the page. Um, this corner piece here is by Recollections. And then on the bottom, I added different, um, I added this lace, and then I added this trim here, and then some pearls. So that's the cover. And then when you open it up, this is the first page. And this picture here, um, you can <laughs> take off like this. And then there's a space here to put your own picture. And um, here's another image that I cut up from the collection. And I just popped her up on some dimensionals. And I added these um, I Am Roses here. They're the peach ones. And I just added them because I wanted it to look like she was... Um, like a garden of roses trying to catch the butterfly so I put a butterfly here and a butterfly here and these are also um, my recollections and I put more I am roses and then this paper here this actually is from um, this K and Company traveling it's got a bunch of different like traveling stuff but um, I really liked this here and I thought it was perfect for the album so I used that and then I added some um, pearls here and then this is just some nice um, some nice heart trim and then here I added some skeleton leaves and then if you look back here I, I just cut up some circles just to add more to, of um, just more dimension, like more of the paper, the paper line back there. So I thought that was that was cool. And then this is the second page of the album, and I just added some nice uh, floral trim here. And I cut up this page in a circle, and I added some pearls around it. And I put another one of those recollections um, corner corner pieces there. And then here is a pocket. So I have these tags. Well, actually, these are supposed to be like photo mats, so I have two here, and then I added, let me move this out of the way quickly, I added these um, really pretty, the ribbon buckle here, and then this is a nice crochet flower, so that's one, and then there's this one, and this one has like a little rosette in the middle with a pearl and then these are Prima um, Prima handmade flowers so those are two photo mats and then the next page this is the next page and I added some rosette trim down there some really pretty ribbon trim down here these are cherry blossoms from I Am Roses and then I just punched out from the paper collection this um, little thing, that, this little tag and it says little darlings and I put this window pane in the key to sort of reflect, you know, a new baby coming home. So I put that here. And this is from, uh, this is by Recollections as well. And this is just an old, um, this is from like a jewelry. I think these were from like earrings or something like that. And then the next page is like this. And I added more of that rosette trimmed on here with some pearls in the middle. I cut up in a scalloped, um, circle here then I added some roses here and then right here in the corner again it's this little darling 
And then in the back, I put a little bit of the butterfly trim, the butterfly paper. I cut it up. And then I added, I made some more tags. So these are the, oops, that got stuck. I added, I made this tag, and I just put two of the, uh, the different papers. I added some ribbon, some trim, sorry. And then I made this one, and this is just a shade, shades of the different blues in the collection. So I thought that one was really pretty. And then this page also has this really pretty um, bow here on, this, on the corner that I made. And then if you look here, when you remove the tags, this piece here is actually from a different paper stack. But I really liked how it looked, so I just put it there. Okay, and then the next page is like this, and I think this is probably one of my favorite pages. I just love the way it looks. Um, I added some more iron roses and added a, a little cherub there. And then these are some tags from the collection, like little stamps of the babies. And then I added some pleated trim and more of this drop trim here. And I also added another piece. I cut up a strip from the paper collection and I put it down there. And I have this really nice um, design here. And these um, designs, guys, I don't here. I don't have any like um, spell binders or anything like that to cut this up. So what I did is I just went online and I and I made my own template. So I just kind of um, you know googled different types of shapes and I got this one and that's what I just used. I just you know, pick my paper, trace it, and I cut it. So, so to use in the meantime. Okay, and then the next page looks like this. So, if you can tell, these are similar because they are, you know, together, and I wanted to keep them similar. Same thing here. I cut it up with that template I had, and then I punched out love from the collection, and then this is a little picture of the baby. I put in this um, oval pendant, and then these are some organza flowers in the back. And then here, I put that picket fence. I use my picket fence punch here, and then I added more of that pleated trim and some of that um, pearl drop. And that's it for that page. And then the next page, this is the next page, and I used more of this um, cool, like, squiggly line I guess um, trim and then I put some pearls here and there's different there's um, I really like this paper it actually reminds me kind of like a fairy tale paper I don't know why but anyway so I used that and I made a pocket and then these are photo mats I have this one and this photo mat and this photo mat and these are just um, these little resin rosette stickers by spare parts the paper studio so I used those for these, and I purposely made them two different sizes because I wanted them to stick out like this. And then the next page, well this is the last page, is like this. And same thing, I added more of that rosette trim, some pearls here, and then this I punched out with my, mm, I can't find the punch, this is in e EK success punch I used and then here I just added um I'll show you guys this is some more paper from the collection and then I added this image here from the collection this is Rockabye Baby that was really pretty and then I added two more uh photo mats so and these are double sided as well <clears throat> so you just took that in there just gotta be a little careful with the it was caught. Okay, and then, oops, dropping stuff over here. Okay, and then the back of the page is like this. So what I did here was I used, um, first I used a bunch of different paper pieces from the collection, and this what I did was all those like pieces that I had kind of cut up. I made like my own, you know, layered, layered piece. So I have that one and this one and this one and this one. And then right here, I layered three different trims. So I have this trim, this one, and then some of that pleated one. And then right here on, on the side, I put um, Cuddle, and then another one of those little uh, resin rosette stickers. So that's it. 
is how it looks on the side. And that is my entire album, guys. I really hope you like it. it. Took me about two weeks to make this album, but I'm glad I'm done. And I love how it came out. So thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.